Hello my friend, it is I, Vadim. How are you doing? One question was bothering me since I bought a new 11th gen Intel i5 CPU and used the stock cooler that comes with it instead of getting something better. Should I buy a bigger cooler to get more performance and make my PC quieter? Well, today I am going to answer that question by testing the stock Intel cooler versus Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo. By the way, it is my go-to CPU cooling solution for mid-range PC builds. I will leave a link to it below in case you are interested. Before that, expensive Windows 10 license can break your budget when building a new PC. You can solve this problem by buying a much cheaper Windows 10 key from today's video sponsor, cdkoffers.com. Use code IV20 at the checkout for an additional 20% off your purchase. The key is delivered instantly. You can copy, save it and activate your Windows 10 license right away. Link is in the description below. Let's start this comparison with Cinebench R23. It loads the CPU to 100% and should give us a good example of a worst-case scenario. With the stock cooler, temperature is hovering around 90 and the fan is spinning at over 3000 RPM, making it a very loud and unpleasant experience. Running the same test with Arctic Freezer, we see a huge difference. The temperature is hovering around 60 and fans are spinning slower. A much quieter experience. Although, to my surprise, the performance stayed the same. This i5 did not boost higher and stayed at 4.2 GHz on average with both coolers. It means that there is no throttling even when using the stock Intel cooler. Next, I want to check the difference in gaming. Rainbow Six Siege can put a heavy load on the CPU and draw over 400 FPS. Using the stock cooler, the temperature is around 80 and it is noisy in the room. Arctic is again doing a much better job at keeping things cool and much quieter. In terms of performance, there is no difference. We are getting the same FPS. Now, let's check a game that behaves more like any other single-player title that does not load the CPU as much. With the stock cooler, the temperature stayed close to 80 again, and the experience wasn't any quieter. Arctic Freezer is winning by a long shot once more, although the FPS was the same using both coolers. Again. Here are my final thoughts. The stock Intel cooler is far from perfect. It is loud even when gaming. However, it is sufficient for cooling i5-11500, 400 or any other similar CPU. So, if your budget is tight, then use the stock cooler. It is fine. With a better cooler, you will not see any meaningful difference in performance. Just lower temperatures and a quieter gaming experience. I think it is worth spending an extra 30 to 40 dollars on that. What do you think? Let me know in the comments and hit like if you enjoyed this video. It was I, Vadim, until next time.